Welcome to Tour the Twilight Saga's preview of The Cullen House in Forks, which actually is The Miller Tree Inn, site number 10 of Tour the Twilight Saga Book 1, The Olympic Peninsula. But first, an explanation of why there are three Cullen Houses. The house used to film Cullen House exteriors is incredibly beautiful. When it's completed, Tour the Twilight Saga Book 3 will help you visit this Portland, Oregon film site. Forks, however, is all about the novel locations, and the house seen on screen looks nothing like the Cullen House description found in Twilight. The real-world place that inspired Stephanie Meyer's Cullen House description is Westland's Homestead which you'll read about in Book 1's Site Number 23 chapter. Only 11 miles north of Forks, this is a marvelous place to visit, and you can even lodge here. In 2008, when the Forks Chamber of Commerce developed the first Forks Twilight Tour, they needed a Cullen House that was in Forks. Without a doubt, the Miller Tree Inn Bed and Breakfast came closest to Stephanie's description. Miller Tree Inn proprietors Bill and Susan Brogger quickly embraced the idea of their home becoming the Cullen House in Forks and did everything they could think of to enhance the experience of visiting Twilighters. At the front door you'll find Esme's message board, a particularly fun touch. As more and more Twilighters began visiting, the Broggers developed several Twilight Saga attractions within the inn. A beautiful recreation of the Cullen graduation cap collage is prominently mounted in their front room, right next to Edward's practice piano. But what makes Bill and Susan Twiliciously extra special is that they invite non-lodgers to step up on their front porch. As long as Twilighters refrain from entering, all are welcome to take photos like this one through the Miller Tree Inn's front room window. Put your camera lens right up against the glass to snap the best shot. Twilighters who lodge here, however, will be treated to the many other attractions found inside the Cullen House and Forks. Books, posters, cast photos and twilight memorabilia, games, puzzles, and much, much more. Each room has something special to offer. Our favorite inside attraction was Carlisle's office on the second floor. Happily, our photos are too poor to spoil the surprises lodgers will enjoy here. Filled with old medical equipment, books, and reproductions of pictures and paintings described in the novel, this room was exceptionally well done by the Broggers. The Miller Tree Inn rooms range from cozy and simple to luxurious and five star, and each is incredibly comfortable. All bookings include a freshly cooked hot breakfast. Although the dining areas are country restaurant quaint, the Miller Tree Inn's food is world class, divine. Seriously, the Miller Tree Inn's food is absolutely delicious. Plus, you can enjoy sipping your morning coffee from distinctive Cullen House pottery mugs made especially for the Miller Tree Inn, which are available for purchase. We strongly encourage Twilighters to lodge at the Miller Tree Inn on at least one night of an Olympic Peninsula Twilight Saga tour so that you can enjoy access to all their attractions and have plenty of time to enjoy them. Happy Twilighting!